so in this video I'll be explaining rear wheel drive. Now, rear wheel drive, so here I've set up uh, a scenario where the engine's in the front and then the driving wheels are going to be in the back. So we're looking down on the car and this is the front of it. Now, so here we've got the engine, the engine's going to be connected to the transmission via clutch or torque converter, depending if it's an automatic or manual, and then you're going to have the transmission using a drive shaft to send it to the rear wheels. Now this drive shaft will be connected to the transmission and the rear differential uh, via a universal joint. So you're going to have a joint kind of like this where these can move up and down so you can have a little bit of flex and they'll still rotate together. Um, and that's important so when you are going over bumpy roads or whatever uh, that they'll stay connected which is pretty vital so you can keep moving. Uh, so then it'll just pass through this drive shaft to the rear differential. You'll have a 45 uh, degree or a 90 degree cut where the gear will uh, transfer that uh, rotational motion in this direction to rotational motion in this direction and then you'll have uh, the wheels driving. So the main thing here, what are the advantages and disadvantages? Well, the two biggest advantages of rear wheel, rear wheel drive is uh, weight transfer and weight distribution. So weight transfer under acceleration the weight of, of the car is going to transfer to the rear tires so you're going to have more grip and you can push it harder. Uh, also weight distribution. Uh, typically it's going to be better in rear wheel drive cars um, for multiple reasons. First of all you're going to have more components going to the back. You're going to have this this drive shaft, uh, a differential back there and that's going to add weight to the back. Also um, a lot of rear wheel drive cars, you'll have the engine uh, either in the mid, uh, in front of the rear axle, or in the back behind the rear axle, and so that'll keep weight uh, very good in the back. Um, and another big advantage is that it splits the tasks of the tires, and this uh, is, is much better for handling. You've got, you've got the front steering and doing most of the braking, and you've got the rear accelerating and doing uh, some of the braking and so that'll also uh, help with tire wear. It'll be much more even in a rear wheel drive car than in a front wheel drive car. Um, as long as you're not, you know, doing burnouts, obviously. Um, so uh, some disadvantages is oversteer and fishtailing. Uh, you've probably experienced this if you have a rear wheel drive car. I know I have in uh, several cars I've driven where if you give it too much gas in a corner the back's going to slide out and you're going to have to correct for that. So that's one disadvantage that might not be the safest thing. Um, weight, they do typically weigh a little bit more rear wheel drive cars because of the added drive shaft and the complexity of the rear axle. Uh, also, if it is a front engine rear wheel drive car, you're going to have less weight on the driving wheels. Now that's a big disadvantage for scenarios like you're on snow, you're on dirt, you're on sand, you're on ice because you're not going to have much traction on those rear tires and they're going to spin real easily since there's not much weight on them. So that's one big disadvantage if you have a front engine rear wheel drive car. 